All right, guys, I listened. A lot of you have been asking to try the high point straight out of the box. Not bad. Let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. What I've got here is high points 995 TS 9 mil carbine. A lot of people said, why didn't you review that? I'd never had one. Got a hold of them. They sent me this to review. The biggest selling point, well, there's a, there's a couple big selling points with this. Aside from, you know, I, when I will review it here, is 100% American made, all parts, everything assembled, companies right here, and then the lifetime ironclad guarantee. Now, that is totally separate from the product itself as far as we're going to review it here, but that's a good starting point. Another big seller for a lot of people is it comes in 9 mil, 10 mil, 40 Smith & Wesson, 45 ACP, and the 380 Auto. So it's got some variety out there. And then we do a quick Google search, and there's a lot of aftermarket products, you know, different stocks, camo, different charging handles, different mags and stuff. So kind of off to a good start. What I want to do here is I want to disassemble it and we'll go through that and take a look. So I'm actually going backwards. I'm going to video reassembling it. You can take a look at that. It's going to be high speed. It's going to go through it super fast. But if you want to see the slower version, that's going to be all the way at the end. All right, so I got it reassembled. What I want to do now is I want to do some accuracy tests. I'm going to get it zeroed with some CCI, range ammo, and then I've got four different kinds of ammo here, Wolf, uh, some Blazer, some Gecko, and some Federal American Eagle. We'll see what kind of groups we can get with that. Okay, so not bad. This is the Wolf Poly Performance. That's actually really good, guys. I'm impressed with that. Need to make an adjustment. And then that's the CCI Blazer, the 147 grain. Yeah, probably a little bit bigger than the Wolf. And then that's the American Eagle. That's 115 grain. Yeah, it's spread out a little bit. Not, not real impressive. And then that's the Gecko, which usually gives me really tight groups, um, but not so much here. So really the winner is the Wolf, the Poly Performance. So that's what we're going to use, and that's also going to give us a really good test on reliability. You know, that's not bad. Um, I'm actually okay with that. It did better than I expected. What I want to do now, we got it zeroed. Let's uh, have some fun on steel. That's my favorite thing to do. We'll start off at 100. Let's just see how we do here at 100. 
I've got the CCI range ammo, which wasn't as accurate as the Wolf. Let's give it a try. Hey, nice. 10 for 10. I can't say anything bad about the accuracy with this, guys. Um, you know, MSRP around 300. I know. And I'd say that definitely has a niche. Okay, so it does come with a threaded barrel. I put my rugged can on there. I've got three rounds of the CCI Blazer 147 grain. They're still, I, I almost guarantee you, they're not gonna be subsonic. It's really hard to get subsonic with a 16 inch barrel. And then I've got some federal range ammo. Let's just see how quiet it is. Make sure it cycles okay. That was pretty quiet. No cycle issues. Again, 16 inch barrel. We're not subsonic, but it is quieter. That's not bad. Hey guys, if you like this review, if you find it helpful, be sure to check out my online courses. They got a 30 day money back guarantee that helps support Beyond Seclusion. This is now a full time business. Check out my webpage. I've got links there. Anytime you use those links, that helps support Beyond Seclusion. Also my Amazon page. This is where I got my crazy stupid deals on optics and anything else that I can find. Nothing goes on there that I haven't reviewed. Anyway, couldn't do it without your guys' help. Thank you. Okay, we're using the Wolf Poly Performance. We're gonna reach out to 200 over there across the dam. <laughs> Gotta take that front sight post and go up over the steel, which makes it kind of hard to do accuracy. I have a feeling we'd do really good if we stuck a red dot on this. Had absolutely no problems at 100. Okay, so we've got it sighted in. We just bagged it at 100, 200. Did really well, actually, at 100 yards. What I want to do now is standing here at 50 yards, and I'm using the, the red ball their extended mag, and I want to be honest with you, I'm really not uh, overly impressed with this. Uh, I just, I, I don't really care for it. You can get a speed loader for it, and you're going to have to because it's going to just, it's going to annihilate your fingers trying to push them in. I found those are located lots of different places. Cheapest I could find was about 10 bucks. Anyway, let's just see how we do here at 50 yards standing. You know, I mean, it's it's not a bad shooter. We're getting, uh, I think, well over 100 rounds here. Have not had one single jam or failure to feed or anything like that. The trigger has a lot to be desired. Um, it's got kind of some weird grooves and stuff on it that uh, would wear on my finger. The grip here, it's a little big for my hands. As far as reaching... The mag release, I can't comfortably do it with my grip the way it is. I'm gonna have to reach forward or reach across and do that. Comfort wise, um, you know, it's not bad. For being a nine mil, even with this sort of recoil buffer system, it's got a pretty stout kick. Um, compared to the other PCs that I did, you know, I'd say this is probably the most recoil out of the ones that I've shot. Hey, one other thing here I just discovered. My charging handle, you have to screw in and you have to screw it out to disassemble this. 
When it comes out, I just found that it had broke loose and was almost all the way out. You know, back to the breaking down thing, that's just one thing that I don't like. There's too many parts, too many steps in disassembling this, and I don't want to have to take off my charging handle, unscrew it, and screw it back in, along with several other things like you saw. Um, but hey, again, that's just me. So what's my take on the high point 9mm carbine? Um, one thing that I really don't like, probably the biggest sticker for me, is the breakdown. I like to break down guns. I like it to be quick. I like it to be simple. I like to keep them clean. And I have to say, this is probably the most complicated gun that I have had to take down, put back together. I would not enjoy cleaning it. Now, with that said, a lot of people aren't like that. They really don't care to take down their gun and would like to use things like boar snakes and stuff like that to clean. In which case then, that really isn't a factor thus far. It has been very reliable, have not had a single jam malfunction, failure to feed light primer strike or anything like that. And we are gonna get some other opinions on this. I got a couple buddies over and we're gonna let them shoot it. I'm not gonna really say much about what I think. I'm just gonna stick it in their hands and let them shoot. Accuracy? I gotta say, I really was impressed. You know, it's it's not bad. I wouldn't call it a tack driver like my Ruger, but it it got, in my opinion, more than acceptable. The sights, they actually just pretty easy. Uh, another thing that I really don't like about it, they call it a polymer. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to call it plastic. Um, the look, the feel, uh, I'd have to look up the definition of polymer, but to me, this is a soft plastic. I really don't care for it. As far as how it shoots the trigger, the trigger's pretty rough, but it's doable. You know, it's probably comparable with the Sub 2000. So, uh, you know, it kind of wears a little funny on my finger. If I was shooting this all day, my finger would be sore. I'd have a blister. I don't care for the single stack mags. I really don't like uh, the banana clip, the 20 rounder. I just, doesn't really work for me. The price, the MSRP, if you can find this under $300, I think that makes it a really viable option for a lot of folks, you know, affordable, reliable, and accurate. For most people, that's going to be, you know, third base or a home run. Me, it's just not a gun that I would get, but that's just me. So anyway, let's see what the other guys think and go from there. Right, I got my buddy here, Jody Hansen from JodyHansen.com. Jody's helped me with a bunch of stuff. He's been down shooting. He actually helped me with some of my videos that actually look really professional. Jody, have you ever shot a 9 mil high point carbine? I have not. Never. But do you like the 9 mil carbines? I do. Love yeah. it. Love it. Uh, I think you helped me sh with the AKP or AKV, and you've helped me. You shot a lot of the other carbines. Yeah. So you're yeah. pretty familiar with 9 mil carbines. All right. Well, let's give the high point a go, and then I just want you to tell me what you think. Okay. like it. Actually, that shot a lot better than I thought it would. Well, that's kind of nice. Kind of loose and plasticky feel, but... I mean, what it, overall, well. what do you think? Overall, I'm pretty, actually, I'm pretty impressed. I wasn't expecting it to be this good or this accurate, as you could hear by the pings. All huh? right. Would you get one? Would I get one? Yeah. How much are they? Uh, I think around three. Three, yeah, probably. I still like my PSA 9, but... I would get one of these. All right. I would. So there you go, guys. You've got my opinion. you got Jody's opinion. He liked it. He'd purchase it. It's just not something that would make it to my list for a purchase. It is accurate. It is extremely affordable. And thus far, it has been reliable. But just some of the other things, uh, you know, reasons that I mentioned in the video, it's just not something that I would get. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. Till next time, guys, happy shooting and be safe.
Would I get one? Yeah. How much are they? Uh, I think around three. Three, yeah, probably. I still like my PSA 9, but I would get one of these. All right. I would. Thanks. And I'd rub it on my nipples.